All right. Well, thank you, Monica and, and Matt. And uh, good morning to everyone, depending on where you are. Uh, it's either it's a, actually a fairly cool morning across much of Michigan. Uh, there's some fog because of the, the cool surface conditions, but uh, it is a indicative of this uh, Canadian origin air mass that's been across the region for the last several days, and actually longer than that into uh, into last week. If we look at mean temperatures here for the previous week on the left, uh, you can see cooler than normal weather, and, and that's been a little bit of an exception uh, for, uh, for, for, well, for many sections of the Midwest, but definitely for the central and eastern Corn Belt here, a cooler than normal week with, a, as I say, northwesterly flow aloft and uh, and Canadian air over the uh, so mean temperatures here generally from three to five degrees Fahrenheit below normal one of the cooler weeks that we've had during the growing season on the right hand side the big news really in terms of precipitation was a weather system we had go through over the weekend on Saturday and Sunday and you can clearly see that it, this actually looks more like a, uh, a cool season type of uh, weather event we usually see spotty convective shower thunderstorm type activity in the in the warm season the growing season that <clears throat> results in a whole lot more spatial discontinuity but this one is really uh really pretty interesting you can see the swath of one half to one inch solid totals and then with some embedded totals uh, in some cases more than four inches of rain fell uh, in west central lower michigan here on saturday that's in the, uh, the, a, the area in the yellow is two inches plus, but uh, very, very unusual weather uh, type of pattern for the growing season. But it's also important to note that while there was uh, extensive uh, widespread uh, rainfall in western parts of lower Michigan, the eastern part remained dry. And you can see that clearly it's uh, right in the middle of central Michigan. We have a very, very steep gradient uh, with uh, going down to essentially no precip. So another drier than normal week for that part of the state. And that's that's certainly a continuing concern. As we look at soil moisture here on the left hand side, this is these are uh, or this is soil moisture in the top three feet of the profile expressed in terms of a historical percentile. And so the the browns, especially the dark browns, are low values relative to history where we should be during the third week of August. And uh, they've, they've had a color change, uh, interestingly, with this product out of out of NASA. Uh, the surpluses, which were in green, are now in a uh, shade of blue i'm not really sure i'm still looking into that was why that why that happened but uh you can see that uh, the bottom line is again for eastern sections of lower michigan particularly the saginaw valley and the thumb that that continues to be the relatively the driest part of the state and you and of course they missed some of the precipitation here last week still about six to seven percent of the state in, on the right hand side here recently in the d1 moderate drought category the yellow is d0 or, or abnormally dry and we still have some of that but again uh, major changes in the western part of lower michigan given a lot of rainfall over the last few weeks but not nearly as much in the east i think that's the the bottom line here with moisture degree days after a cooler than normal week we still have the same general spatial pattern in in uh, Michigan relative to seasonal degree day accumulations this is back to the beginning of May uh, surpluses across the far south that's even with the cooler than normal week and some deficits up north uh, several days maybe uh, calendar days is what that would translate to in the far north but uh, there again at this point there we're not way behind or way ahead really anywhere we're uh, in this pattern with with deficits north and surpluses south we've seen all growing season probably will continue for at least the next couple of weeks if not longer well moving quickly here to our our forecast as i mentioned it's uh it's a well uh, cloudy to a sunny day uh, or sunny start of the day here and cool across much of the state but you'll notice we do have some scattered showers and thunder showers in the far northern part of the state across upper michigan and that's uh that's a a good pre or a, a good uh, sign of our forecast here for the next couple of days we will see uh, a continued chance for scattered showers and a couple couple rumbles of thunder across upper michigan today while the lower peninsula will remain mostly sunny uh, and dry there is a chance we could see this afternoon like yesterday a uh, an isolated shower develop late in the day but that there that would be few and far between uh, most areas again will be will be sunny dry and and relatively cool uh, high time high temperatures today 
upper 70s north to the low 80s uh, in the south. Uh, by tomorrow, you can see off to our north and west again, the next weather system beginning to form out there and make its way towards us. A continued chance for showers and thunderstorms again in upper Michigan, mainly western and central sections, uh, while once again sunny, fair, and dry uh, in, in the south and, uh, and central, mostly across much of the uh, lower peninsula, actually. Uh, temperatures will be a couple degrees warmer tomorrow and then uh, even a couple degrees warmer than that. So we should see by Saturday uh, warming up into the low to mid 80s for high temperatures in most areas. But the uh, the other big news is this is the really the next major weather system. You can see that as a, an area of low pressure out here over southeastern Minnesota with a couple frontal boundaries associated with that. That will slowly move from northwest to southeast across the state during the day Saturday and for most of the state uh, late Saturday overnight Saturday and Sunday this will be the, the uh, greatest or highest risk of rainfall I think most of us will see some rainfall the the question is how much and uh, the the forecast guidance in this has been a little little uncertain uh, while most areas will see precip uh, quarter to half inch amounts uh, are probably the most likely category we could see some isolated heavy rainfall but in general uh, again i think quarter to half an inch is probably what most folks are looking at now that system moves through by late sunday uh, with precip chances by then confined mainly to the southeastern lower peninsula. We will see a lingering chance for some showers on Monday uh, in the southeastern part of the state. But after that, and for most of uh, most of Michigan, especially north and central, we will see uh, clearing off once again, cooler and drier. There will be some, again, you can see the high pressure here on uh, on Saturday morning, another Canadian high. And so for the early part of next week, we will be looking at cool, fair and dry conditions once again, similar to what we've seen for a lot of uh, of the past week. So that you get the the gist here of this this upper air pattern that we're in. For precipitation totals, it, it depends on where you are, but in general, most especially for the northern and central lower peninsula, once again, likely a drier than normal week here coming up through next Thursday. Exceptions to that, possibly in upper Michigan where we're expecting rainfall here both today and tomorrow, and then maybe along the southern uh, border of the state, along Indiana and Ohio. But for much of the state, it will be once again, a drier than normal week uh, looking ahead and, and probably cooler than normal as well. Potential evapotranspiration rates, given the cooler than normal conditions will be lower than normal. As you can see here, most totals between ar around an inch to uh, maybe 1.05, so uh, a little bit below where we typically see things in the third week of, uh, of August. And then looking into the medium range, not a whole lot of change. I, th I think it's important to look at the upper air projected here. Six to 10 and eight to 14 day outlooks are pretty similar in calling for the, the big ridge that's been parked over North America, some part of North America for much of the growing season. It's way out over the West Coast of the US. And there's a big trough, broad trough across central and eastern sections of North America with northwesterly flow, a continuation again of, of, of what we've seen recently here. And that leaves Michigan essentially in a border or boundary area between uh, warmer than normal conditions to our, our east and then a little cooler than normal conditions to our, our west and south. You can see that here uh, again up at the top, uh, really not a, not a lot of direction there. The uh, same thing is true for, oops, same thing is true for precipitation. And uh, again, you, you can see we don't have to go very far to see either wetter than normal or drier than normal, but we're we're sort of parked in between. And, and as we have said here over the last several weeks, while this officially is no, no direction to, uh, either way for temps or precip, uh, if we move the ridge of this axis a few hundred miles one direction or the other, it could make a significant difference in this. I would also say that the guidance, while it is, it is consistent here for the next week and a half, beyond that into late August, there are some changes suggested once again. Most of those point towards warmer than normal mean temperatures. Uh, once again, we will have a, a later this morning here, the uh, Climate Prediction Center will be releasing a new ensemble of long lead outlooks. I would be surprised if they didn't 
call for warmer than normal conditions here again as especially as we move into September and that's what the outlook warmer and actually drier than normal is is the direction that those outlooks have been uh for the last few weeks and I, I'm guessing that's where they will be with the new ones here later today as well so wrapping up uh more of really more of the same but we do have an extended chance for precipitation here rainfall over many areas beginning in the north today and tomorrow and then spreading across the state over the weekend on saturday and sunday and then uh, for next week looking at cooler uh, drier conditions once again over uh, for several days beginning of next week and as you just saw with the medium range more of the same out for about a week to two weeks but then maybe a change towards warmer conditions uh, by the end of the month. And I'll stop there and transition uh, to introduce next week our topic. We're going to have another Q&A session with uh, all of our MSU Extension specialists uh, and uh, field crop or <laughs> and educators. Uh, so that will be bring your bring your tough questions, especially that's the time to ask those next week. So we'll have a, a variety of and all all of our normal specialists and, and we'll be on here. So bring your questions for next week. That's uh, next Thursday's virtual breakfast. And with that, I will turn it back to you, Monica.